Welcome to Karen's Lab. Very often I get asked, what is it that I do as an engineer? That's the reason I decided to start this YouTube channel. The goal of this channel is actually to promote innovation. There are many needs and there are many solutions, but we need people like you to start thinking of what those solutions are. So we will start by first defining what is engineering, what is innovation, and how engineering and innovation relate to each other. But wait, 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 wait. This is too boring. This is way too boring. Let's do some magic. Let's be innovative and let's go to a different place. Just come with me. So this is much better, right? We're going to have lots of fun to actually learn what is engineering. But as I mentioned, more importantly, innovation. And to help you become the innovators. The definition of engineering consists of three main parts. The use of scientific knowledge. It is very important that you learn your math, your biology, your physics, your chemistry. The second one is to develop technology. And the third one is to benefit society. So you use the scientific knowledge to develop technology that could benefit society. You can be innovators just right now. And that is what we need. We need for you to think simple things. You're brushing your teeth. You don't like how it works. You can design new toothbrushes. There are many things that you can see just around you that will help you become an innovator. I can tell you that by experience. I design a way to create uh, nanofibers. These are very, very tiny fibers. Just, you know, several thousand times smaller than a hair. And they're used for many different applications. And we made possible the production of industrial quantities of this with the idea of a cotton candy machine using centrifugal forces instead of using electrical forces that we use in the past. So I challenge you to become the next innovator. We'll see you in the next video when we will start with experiments. I will be presenting science-related experiments but I will be asking you what applications you can give to that knowledge that you will be learning.